What's up y'all, Intravenous here, POL Game Review and POL Music of course. I am going to show you today a cool feature that is available on hacked PS Vitas and that is to be able to read comic books. And there is a lot of comic books available for you to read, even some very recent ones. It's quite possible that these databases are being updated to this date to the newest issue and we're gonna check on that with one thing but this is Nobaru or Noboru I like to say Nobaru it looks like this if you see this icon here now if you want to download Nobaru yourself you're going to want to download it from the Vita DB downloader at least that's where I got mine so we're gonna open that up I like the uh, Minecraft style music here. So what we're going to want to do is you can just type it in right here. So let's do Noboru. Whoops. N-O-B-O-R-U. There it is. Noboru. You see I've already got it here. It's downloading the VPK again. But basically you're just going to go click on that hit your X button or, or if possibly if you're using a Japanese Vita you would hit the circle button and for anyone who wants to tell me that this is a cross button well, I know but I still tend to call it an X button well, we don't need that so we're just gonna close out of there since we've already downloaded it now Nobaru looks like a little white book to me it looks more like a little the back of a debit card or something but you know I think it's supposed to be a little book alright we're in now alright so this app starts out with this screen you got the Nobru home you got library which is where you can add the comics that you want to read and then you've got catalogs they have different languages listed here Portuguese you know Russian Spanish Indonesian Korean there's also many English and they're all from these different hosts so there's a lot of manga ones let's see here say I want to go to we're gonna go to read comics online that's pretty straightforward right now check this out We've got Batman, 2016 to present, the Saga series, the Flash, Amazing Spider-Man, it goes on and on. You could really do a lot of reading. Again, there's that needing to be patient here. These will load up as I just seem to magically make them appear with my finger. And it just keeps going. we got Invincible, the Avengers, Venom. Let's go ahead and check out Venom. Venom 2018, number one, number two, number three, number four, five. Let's see how far they go for Venom. Venom goes to 34, and then it skips to number 200, and then there's some annual release there. So you're not going to find all the comics on here. But hey, I mean, the first 40 is fine with me. Honestly, that is a good long reading session. What else do we have here? Justice League. We got some more that's loading up. There's Spawn, my favorite. Look, there's a Rick and Morty comic. Rick and Morty number one through... Wow. Number one through 60. Alright, so let's go ahead to spawn. This one has a lot. Okay. So I love spawn. We got one through... I think it goes right up to present. Yeah, one to 341 issues of spawn. Started in 1992. You can see up here it says read comics online.ru backslash comic backslash spawn. Now I do suggest supporting your your publisher's image, especially spawn. 
whatever it is that you read uh, or you're into, I would suggest you supporting them. But this is a great way to catch up on the backlog of issues that might be really hard to get or you can't afford. You can find them, but maybe say someone wants to charge you $150 for the first issue of Spawn. Well, you know, we don't need to do that here. Uh, some of us don't have that kind of money. So you can hit start reading. What we're doing is preparing the pages. There's 24 pages. And here we go. There's the cover. You can zoom out and look at it like that. You can zoom in wherever you need. So let's go ahead and swipe, swipe. Now my internet is a little slow right now. It does usually load faster than that. So here we go. The first page you can zoom in on every little thing which could be very helpful for anyone who is hard of seeing so there we go to back out of there you can just hit your circle button or like I said perhaps the X across button if you are using a Japanese PS Vita let's just say I want to read Nightwing and just so you know, and so I know, well, there's 104 regular issues of that for me to read. So I'm going to add them to my library, which is, you know, you touch it, it's a little slow delay there. You can also hit the triangle button, it looks like, to add that to your library. Let's start reading. Nightwing. You know, being an artist myself and having a soft spot for comic books and comic artwork. I just love being able to look at this on an OLED screen and read it. It's really nice actually. Really nice. So that's it everyone. Now if you are curious about what I have here on my PS Vita this is a grip that adds L2 and R2 buttons to your PS Vita via two little touch rubber sensitive pads that touch the top of the back touch pad on here to simulate the L2 and R buttons, L2 and R2 buttons on games like God of War, the collection. And this one in particular is made by Top Player. I do like it, but I will warn y'all that these buttons are a little recessed and also it's just, it's not really the best quality plastic, but it does the job and it wasn't tremendously expensive. There's a few different brands that make them, but I would recommend picking this up if you want something that you can hold with one hand by the side like an actual controller and give you some some good feels. So that's it y'all. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Go ahead and check out Noboru today and go ahead and hack your PS Vita. It's really fun. You can get all kinds of games. I have over a hundred games on here. It's a blast. So y'all have a wonderful time. Until next time. Intravenous here, signing out. Peace.